Y'all, every time we're in the candy section, I have to get these. Y'all, this is my favorite candy ever. Come on, Piper. Speed bunny born like a bird on the wing. Onward the sailors cry. Carry the lad that's born to be king. Over the sea to sky. I clearly, clearly have not looked in a mirror today at all. <laughs> wow, that is, that's bad. Anyway, it's about 10 o'clock. Um, I just, we all kind of slept in and it's just been a lazy day, but it's been a good day so far. Um, Aiden hasn't been up that long. He's been up maybe an hour or two, um, but I got him dressed. He just had his <clears throat> a little bit more breakfast. He got on some clean clothes and a clean diapy. And he's hanging out in the kitchen with Mama. Mama? Yes, love. Wow. Nana, oh, yeah, Nana got you a shirt, huh? Yeah. <laughs> My mother-in-law is so sweet. Is she? she? She's really good at thrifting. Like, she's just, she finds things at thrift stores that I don't know how she finds it because I can go in the same exact thrift store and I would never find the awesome things that she does. So <clears throat> she finds some really good things. But she got the kids some clothes from the thrift store yesterday, which we love. We love thrifting because, come on, kids outgrow things. What you need? Um, I want to try on the new... Anyway, y'all keep getting interrupted by one. children. Children, hey. What? Her <laughs> hair's a mess because I had a bath last night. What, what sweetie? Alone time. But Zoe gets two hours of alone time every day. Yeah, I, I've been having to do that with Zoe is let her have at least two hours. Y'all, I have to give her at least two hours of alone time every day, especially during the summer because she just, things are just, things are a little bit crazy and she's got a little sister always kind of in her face. And so it, it's good to have alone time. I think we all need alone time every now and then. Also, I wanted to address something with you guys because I've been seeing, and I don't see this often, but in the last couple of videos specifically, I have seen y'all say like, why are you guys ignoring, why do you ignore Narkees all the time? Every time you're, you're vlogging and he's just calling you and calling you and you just ignore him. That's not nice. And I don't know, just a lot of comments along that line of why do I ignore him? I don't think, I think what a lot of you guys don't understand, and I don't expect you to understand because it's not something that you're like living on a day to day basis, but Um, but, um, he does have fetal alcohol syndrome. One of the huge, huge side effects of fetal alcohol syndrome is short-term memory loss or forgetfulness. Um, and it's not the typical type of forgetfulness. Go play, sweetie. Zoe, you make it up. And it's not the typical type of forgetfulness. It's the type that... He, he doesn't remember that I've already answered him. Like he'll be calling mama, 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 and I'll answer him and I'll acknowledge it. Um, but then two minutes later, he's right back to it. Mama, mama, mama. And this goes on all day long. I'm used to it. I, I kind of don't think about it so much. So when it appears that I'm ignoring him, what you guys actually didn't see are the 10, 20 times before the camera came on where I did answer him and I did acknowledge him. Uh, it's just that he forgets. He forgets that I've answered. See, there he goes again. He's, for, he's forgotten that I've answered the question already um, and he's being repetitive in his behavior. That is a huge symptom of fetal alcohol syndrome. So when it appears that I am ind indeed ignoring him, sometimes you just have to, you have to, because it's all day. It is 24 hours a day. Well, waking hours the, during the time he's awake, he's always calling mama or asking for something. And it's, it's just, it's just Narkees, you guys. It's just something we're, we have gotten used to and we know when to ignore it and we know when to acknowledge it. Um, and a lot of times, Daddy. what did you spell? I'm already super worn out. I'm just tired. I've been like trying to sort through clothes and get things done. And I feel like it's one of those days where I'm working 
constantly like I'm constantly doing something but I'm not seeing a ton of progress and that is super frustrating so one of our neighbors came over and the girls went with uh, a friend down the street to go play so they're down there playing which I guess is good because I have a few minutes to kind of straighten up in here I've got clothes from the thrift store that I'm trying to sort through and I haven't even brushed my hair but I did get a shower and I did put on actual clothes so I guess that's some type of progress right yes buddy you don't need apple juice buddy we'll get you some in a little bit okay he's been asking for something to drink all day and he just keeps having to pee so I don't know I'm afraid he's gonna drown himself with apple juice he's just drinking and drinking and drinking um Anyway, I'm gonna try to finish up my clothes. I need to vacuum. I, I, oh, it's frustrating because I've got, what's wrong, dude? I've got a lot to do before they actually come back home. And then when my husband gets home, I need to run to the store. I've gotta get more hair dye. I really wanna fix my hair back to the red because it's fading. It's still red, don't get me wrong. It's still red, but it's not like the color, the shade of red that I want it to be. So I need to do that as well, but yeah. We're getting stuff done. It's just, there's just so much to get done that all the little things that I've done so far aren't really showing like I would like them to. It's okay. It's all right. We'll get it done. What are you? Makes it's done again. Almost. I see some blocks right there. Look around. He's trying so hard, you guys. So some of you guys have also noticed that I've been wearing my glasses a lot lately. That my glasses are pretty much in every vlog now. Y'all, I just prefer myself in glasses. The contacts, they irritate me. Um, I have natural, I don't know if y'all can tell, like I take my glasses off, right? I have these natural bags under my eyes. They're always there. I've always had them. They will always be there. There is no cream. There is no anything that can rid my eyes of the bags. It's just it's just the way my eyes are. Um, in it, even if you look back at childhood pictures of me, I have those bags under my eyes. It's just part of my DNA, I guess. But I like myself in glasses better because it does hide or conceal those bags under my eyes. Um, you don't, they're not as noticeable when I'm wearing my glasses, at least not to me. <laughs> Plus, I just, I, I don't know, I just like them better. I can't see out of this pair any better than my contacts, but I don't have to worry about my eyes drying out or my eyes being all red or losing a contact lens or, I don't know. I just prefer, I just prefer the glasses and I have an appointment in a week or two. What is it, buddy? What, honey? You did, you did clean very good, but I still see a few blocks. Sissies need to clean all this other stuff, though. Huh? It's okay. <laughs> uh, I do have an appointment in a few weeks to go get new contacts or whatever, and I think I'm going to tell them I don't want contacts. I just want, um, what's the deal, bud? I just want a new um, prescription put in this put in this pair of glasses, and then I want an additional pair of glasses. That way I can kind of swap them up. What are you doing, son? Come here. What's the deal? What's the deal? Why are you poking your eyes? What's the deal? <laughs> uh-huh. What else? You got more? You can tell me more? Okay. <laughs> and I feel like I could probably answer questions till I'm blue in the face because I, I think someone's always going to ask, but just to, uh, to reiterate, yeah. yeah, to reiterate why he pokes his eyes, it's called eye pressing, and it's very common for blind children to poke their eyes, so it does not hurt him, he, it is in no way hurting him, um, we, at first we d did deter the behavior, however, over the many years that he spent in the orphanage poking his eyes already resulted in his eyes kind of being becoming sunken in and i know you guys can tell that his eyes are sunken in um and that is from the the constant eye pressing but you know what the damage is done they can't get any worse um and it was really a futile effort to try to get him to stop what are you doing <laughs> y'all look at this boy what are you doing 
he does this. He'll find me and he'll just <laughs> cling and cling and cling. What you doing? Yeah. Ooh, hey. Ooh. Ooh. What you want? Uh, uh, you just playing? Uh, Can you say hi, mom? Uh, say hi, mom. Uh, is this a fit or is this playing? Aiden, Tishina, <laughs> calm down. Yeah, he's playing, y'all. He just playing. Tuka, tuka, tuka. Lushka, daddy. Lushka, daddy. Lushka, daddy. Oh, uh, 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 uh. Nia, nia, nia. Hey, hey, hey. It's not funny. Nia boli. You don't hurt yourself. You understand? Aiden. Aiden. Nia boli. Ploha da. Boli is ploha. Uh-huh. Ploha, yes. 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 He's... Y'all, he, he was just playing. But sometimes when he plays, he gets a little too overexcited. And he'll he'll slap his head. So I told him no, bo no bully. And bully means hurt. So I told him no hurt. Um, and that it was ploha. And ploha means bad. And he just said... Ploha, ploha da. So he said ploha yes, so bad yes. So he knows, he knows, he understands when I tell him not to do, not to hurt himself. He does get it. So <sighs> progress, y'all. I'll take it even no matter how small. All right, guys. So we are heading out. <laughs> I I need to go get, I told you guys earlier, I've got to go get some hair dye and I need to get a few groceries. What is it, honey? He whispers us down because he's sad. Oh, okay. She's talking about our cat in the window. Anyway, we are off to the store. I got both girls with me just to kind of get them out of the house and the boys are inside with daddy. All right, guys, so we just went by the P.O. Box. I wasn't planning to go by the P.O. Box, but I was like, you know what, I'm out. I had maybe no. like 10 minutes. Hey, you be nice, you wait. I had like 10 minutes till the post office actually closed. And I, we got in there and got in line. And sure enough, they put the rope up behind me. But I did get some of y'all's packages. I have a package from Lauren. I have a package from Stephanie. And I have a package from somebody that I don't know where the name on it is. But I have three packages. <laughs> so if you sent something recently, um, don't worry, I have it. Um, and I am... I don't know. I'm either going to wait till I probably will wait until tomorrow to open them because the boys will already be in bed and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to save them and I will open them probably in their own little P.O. box haul. But I do have them. I can show them right there. Those are the three. <laughs> Y'all, every time we're in the candy section, I have to get these. Y'all, this is my favorite candy ever. Come on, Viper. So we are grocery shopping and the Kroger near our house has these really tiny like kid-sized buggies and the girls are going crazy over it. All right, let's go this way. I want to keep this buggy. Well, I think it's fun for the kids, but I don't think it's very practical for the adults. <laughs> but it's cute. All right, guys. So something that I always do whenever I'm in this town, and I don't know why I do it, but I always drive by my old neighborhood, the neighborhood I grew up in, and I drive by my old house and I just kind of stare and reminisce. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you guys the house that I grew up in. I, I lived here from the time I was four until I was 19. So pretty much my whole childhood <laughs> happened in this house and I just love it and I'm so nostalgic about it. But at any rate, it's not that one, but it is this house right here is the house I grew up in. Somebody, uh, somebody lives there now and I want to kick them out and I want my house back. <laughs> I really do. And every single time my husband and I have moved, I have specifically looked to see if that house was for sale and it never is because it's, it's an amazing house and nobody wants to move out of that house except for us apparently. No, but I was I was going off to college and I was marrying Asa and my mom just she couldn't keep that house anymore because it was just her. So 
anyway, I'm gonna quit vlogging and driving even though I'm just in the neighborhood and I'm literally going like five miles an hour, but yeah, I just wanted to show y'all my house. I miss it. <laughs> are back home I'm gonna put up groceries and I'm gonna get kids to bed so I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day I hope you guys are all doing awesome and I will talk to you guys tomorrow bye guys Loud the wind tolls.